Hi, this is Barbie. Just here to uh, do a quick uh, video <clears throat> on my, um, I guess you'd call them journal jewelry um, that you would hang on the outside of your journal. Um, some people use them for other purposes, but that's what I'm going to call them. I'm going to be putting these in my Etsy shop um, shortly, but I wanted to run through the what I've done here. So let's see, let's just get all these over to the side. And I'll start out with this one. This um, just has some of the, um, what they call, um, mm, I think they're called check glass beads. Anyhow, they, as you can see, are the, kind of the jewel tones. And I just made a dangle. I also used some... Um, antique watch faces that I put together for a dangle and some other components that I had some gears some Savorsky crystals these are little Savorsky crystals beads and um, here's the other one oh, let me see if I can get it to where you can see it uh, Okay, here, there you go. There you go, you can see that hopefully. So I just made a dangle and attached it then to the other beads. And then there's a lobster clasp on each one of them. So that if you had a, um, let's just say you uh, wanted to put this on your uh, journal and you didn't have an eyelet already in there, you could take a uh, large pin, safety pin, and pin it to some fabric that you might have in your journal, and then clip this to the, pay, uh, to the uh, safety pin, which would work. Okay, there's that one. Um, also, I did some hat pins. And I used a, this is like a boho bead with some components on it. Savarsky crystals, the Czech um, glass beads, some other little seed beads. And this you can just pin um, wherever you like. It's a hat pin. Okay, then here's another hat pin I did. And these um, are little rondelles that I had in my stash, and here's another one that have the Savorsky crystals and in, uh, inset in them on both of those. Let me just make sure I'm in frame here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then it has a little stop at the end, and this right here is stops the beads from going down. It's a little rubber stop. So there's that one. Okay. And this one here, I um, wanted to make it more of a Southwest type um, color with more of the uh, turquoise, um, some of the, um, oh, what do they call that? Some kind of a, it's, it's a yarn that you can buy, eyelash, eyelash yarn. And then I put, uh, these. this is real turquoise. Uh, and then that's a little red hat and another uh, bead down there and I forget what the this is a real uh, stone bead that one is and then that's a turquoise real turquoise both of those are <clears throat> excuse me and there you go that's that one and again I've got some real turquoise beads here, a lobster clasp, some eyelash uh, yarn. Now this one here, I don't, I don't believe it is real turquoise. This one is not, but these others are. Okay, and then uh, these little, uh, these little things right here are what they call Tibetan uh, findings. They're made in Tibet. Okay. Here's another one. 
This is 24 karat gold uh, dipped. I believe it's an aspen leaf. Yeah, it's an aspen leaf. Let me make sure I'm in frame. And then I put a little, uh, this is a, um, a stone that I had. And I forget, I believe it's spinel or, sp anyhow, it's a real stone. Some Savarsky crystals, the Tibetan findings, the Czech uh, cut glass. Now this one right here is a really cool, I don't know if you can see it in the picture or not. But this is um, a lampwork bead. They take glass rods. I used to do this. They take glass rods and you melt them in a hot, hot flame and you design this bead. It's really quite lovely. Okay, and then this is a boho bead I put together. And again, with some little seed crystals. Little seed beads, rather. Okay, that one there is... Okay, this one, I wanted to make a small one. Most of those, I'll measure them in a minute, but this one here is just a little small bead, but it's really sweet. And it's got a little uh, pottery owl bead and an old button at the bottom dangle. And then as you can see, it's a boho bead with some of the multicolored um, fiber yarn on it. Okay, here's another one with the little owl on it. And this is a little angel owl. You see the little wings at the top. And he's sitting in his little nest. Okay, and then um, this is some magnetite, a bead. And this is a cornelian, I believe. Uh, real stones. Boho. Just a little decorative heart. Again, a magnetite bead. And some more of the cornelian. Thought that one turned out really cute. Okay, this is the last one. This is the last one I made, which is my favorite. You know, you always have favorites. Okay, this is a vintage um, pearl I found, mustache. Some more of the Savarsky uh, rondelles, the Czech beads, Savarsky stone rondelle. I mean, excuse me, bead. Um, then this is, uh, some, oh gosh, I forgot the name of that, but this is a real stone here. These are chips of that particular stone, and if I think of it, I'll put it in the description, but it's called watermelon, uh, which means it's multicolored. I will put it in the description. This again is a bead I made, and it's, um, made with, the uh, glass. And it's, uh, there's a process that you go through to make this turn out like that. It's one of my favorite types of uh, melted glass. And then again, this is a handmade a lampwork bead I made. And um, with just some little Savarskis and on the end of the dangle. So, there you go. That's that one. Okay, uh, let me measure these real quick. Give you an estimate anyhow of what it's, what size it is. Now from the, t from the top of the clasp to the bottom of the dangle, this one is six and a half inches. And I think most of these are about that. Yeah, it's about six and a half, most of these long ones are. Now this one here is a little different. This one is, well, it's about six and a quarter. And this one here is a little shorter. And this one here is about four and a quarter. Okay, that one is six. I would say it's going to hang about six, it's about six inches when it actually hangs. Okay. 
I would say about five and a quarter. Okay, and both of these are the same five inches. These, these hat pins are like five inches. Okay, that is my um, junk journal jewelry. I'll be putting it on my Etsy shop if anybody might be interested. And probably will be making more in the future. They're really fun to make. And I love designing um, this jewelry and using my stash to uh, make it very, you know, different and interesting. Especially my stash of uh, lampwork beads and real stones. And this is something I'm going to probably use as a dangle, just to give you an example. It's a uh, bead that is made, it's a handmade bead. And it's got a really cool look to it. So that's one of them I'm going to be using. And I also have some other ideas. So just check back with me and have a wonderful day. Until we meet again, this is Barbie. Bye.